everyone, Charity Preston here from the Organized Classroom blog. I'm so glad to have you join us today. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a Google Docs quiz for students in your classroom. I'm going to be doing just some very, very basic examples. You certainly can do way more than that if you go in and play around with the Google Docs program, change some formatting things, choose different types of questions. Today primarily I'm just going to show you how to create a multiple choice quiz and the reason I'm going to show you only how to do that is because in two days from now I'm going to create a video that shows how to use Fluberu to grade your multiple choice quiz and it's a lot easier for Fluberu to grade a quiz that only has specific answers to choose from rather than short answers, long answers, that kind of thing because the answer key that you are going to provide can only have one answer and in order for the student to get the one point for the question their answer has to match exactly. The way to do that is by just doing a simple multiple choice quiz. You probably wouldn't use this for your big, huge, end of the year cumulative exam. Um, think of this more as a checkpoint, maybe as a quiz after you finish a group read aloud or a literature circle, um, different things for math perhaps, maybe a science or social studies quick chapter test. You could certainly go in and enter the questions from your normal chapter test that are multiple choice questions, which would be fantastic because after you do that, you of course will have it saved forever. You can use it from year to year to year. The students can't get their hands on it. And then you can use Fluberu to grade it for you immediately within seconds and it will be finished. So anyway, let's get started. So to get to Google Docs, just type in Google Docs in your search bar and it will pull up this. You do need to make sure you have a Google account and it's completely free. Make sure that you're over here to create new. And I'm going to create a new form. And up here we want to title our form and we're going to make a baby animals quiz. Um, please pick the best choice. Your answers are your directions are going to be right up here. Now. Um, here are our question types that are editable. Okay, we can do a short answer. We can do a paragraph text, which is a long answer. Multiple choice. Check boxes, very similar to multiple choice. That would be an easy one to do as well. Choose from a list. A scale, which looks like this. When it's finished, you would have your question up there on a scale of one to five. You know, which one is the the strongest, whatever. Keep in mind you could use these as a survey as well if you wanted to create a student survey maybe for the end of the year. How did I do as a teacher? I'm going to put some questions in there as well. And a grid is similar. You would just have several skill questions all in a row. Okay, so we're actually going to go back to, I'm going to start with the basic short answer one only because I want to make sure my students put their name on their paper. So I'm going to do a your name. I don't need a help text for that. This is a required question for me. And I'm going to click done. There it is. Sample question number two. Here are my edit. I've got a duplicate button and I've got a delete button as well. This time I'm going to go in and create a multiple choice. And my multiple choice question is going to be what is the name of a baby goat. My options are kid, puppy, and kitten. Okay. Um, required question whether or not you want it to be. If it's okay if the students leave it blank, don't make it a required question. If you want to make sure that they have an answer for every single question, then you can make it a, a required question and it'll show up right up here. You can see the little red asterisk that's a required question. Okay, there's that. Now I want to add another multiple choice question. So I'm going to go down here. What is the name of a baby cow? Okay, um, 
and my help text is going to be rhymes with half. Okay, so puppy, kitten, calf. And you can add as many as you want in here. Done. All right, so this is what it looks like here as well. Now, here are some different choices up here. I can email this form. If you have middle or high school students that have email addresses, you can email it right to them. We're probably not going to do that if we're talking about baby animals. Um, if you want to be able to find your quiz and you're not going to email it, you can see the publish form right down here at the bottom. Just click on this link and it takes you right to your quiz. Okay? There it is. So you can either save this in your favorites for your students to be able to go find on your student computers, or you can have them do it at home for a homework if they all have computers at home, or you could also create a squirrel. And if you don't remember what a squirrel is, or if you have never heard of that, I did make another video about squirrels. Just click on this red banner here that's at the bottom of this video. It'll take you to my YouTube channel. Click on subscribe. And if you go through all my published videos, you'll be able to find the one that's about a squirrel. And that could come in handy for you. All right, we're going back to our form. Um, see responses. That's where we actually see what the student answers are. Now, more actions. We can embed the form into a website. That's what this one is. Chances are you're not going to do that. You would just use this blue code at the bottom. And edit confirmation. Let's edit what the students actually see after they enter the form. Um, and I'm just going to put down nice job. I can put whatever I want. We do not want them to see what everyone else's responses were. I'm going to save that. Okay, it's already saved. And the last thing I want to do is change the theme because honestly, this right here is kind of boring, I think. So I'm going to go to theme and it's going to take me to all kinds of templates, which is super cool. Okay, I'm going to go to the one I want. Here's what it's going to preview. It's going to look like so cute, way better than the plain vanilla one. Okay, now if I go to view the published form, I can go in here and here's my quiz. And I'm actually going to input some answers in here. Baby goat is a kid, name of baby cow is a calf. I'm going to hit submit. And as you can see, it's got my little confirmation thing there. You could actually put down anything. See Mrs. Preston when you're done. Please go get whoever to the next person on the list to complete the quiz, whatever you want. Okay, I can go back to the form, or the kids could create their own form, but we probably won't. don't want them doing that. Okay, I'm going to exit out of it. Now, if I go back to my Google Docs home, right here is my baby animals quiz. If I go to Actions and open it, it opens up a spreadsheet. It shows my name, my answers that I have there, and this part's going to be pretty important whenever we do our Fluguru video in a couple days. And it's got my timestamp. It shows me when I took it and what time I took it, which is pretty cool. Now, you can also see the form in a summary of responses as well. This is kind of neat. It shows kind of um, as you get more names in here, it'll break it down for you into a graph form. And you can see what the answers were for each of the categories there as well. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, that's what, that's all that you do. That's it. That's pretty simple. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you get a chance, please head over to the organizedclassroomblog.com to take a look at our teachers in movies and in literature. And if you can answer some of the questions in there for me, that would be fantastic. The more answers I get, the better our video is going to be in two days when I show you how Flubaru works. So um, I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure you visit us at theorganizedclassroomblog.com, at our Facebook fan page, or right here at my YouTube channel as well. Have a great day. Bye.